Living legend John Landis is the director of such classics as Schlock, the Kentucky Fried Movie, Animal House, The Blues Brothers, An American Werewolf in London, Coming to America, Trading Places, and many more. Loves putting Easter eggs in his films. His most famous Easter egg throughout his work is his reference to his fictional film, See You Next Wednesday, in many of his films, in one form or another. However, not a lot of people know that his brilliant 1985 film, Into the Night, a comedy thriller starring Jeff Goldblum and Michelle Pfeiffer, is filled with Easter eggs. The Easter eggs are cameos. Sure, most people would have noticed a couple of famous faces randomly appearing for as brief as a few seconds in the picture, such as directors David Cronenberg, Paul Bartel, Paul Mazursky, or Roger Vadim. However, Landis intentionally put a massive 20 film personalities into Into the Night, and in this video, I will point out and briefly explain all of them to you. First of all, we have Jack Arnold playing the man of the dog in the elevator. Arnold is a director of 1950s science fiction classics, such as It Came From Outer Space, Creature From The Black Lagoon, The Incredible Shrinking Man, and one of Tarantino's personal favorites, High School Confidential. Next is Rick Baker, who plays the drug dealer. Hey man, uh, you want any loots? Uh, coke? Hash? Acid? Crack? Baker is the Oscar-winning makeup artist of An American Werewolf in London, having also done the makeup for The Incredible Melting Man, The Fury, Funhouse, Videodrome, Men in Black, and Landis' debut feature Schlock, as well as many others. Roger Corman veteran Paul Bartel, director and actor, most famous for having made Eating Raoul, Cannonball, and Death Race 2000. Bartel is famous for having made many cameo appearances in a variety of films, sometimes with actress Mary Warrenov. Bartel plays the Beverly Wilshire Hotel doorman. The pay for in the ladies' room. Give it only to Hamid. Perhaps the most famous of all personalities is David Cronenberg, legendary Canadian director of body horror films such as Shivers, Rabid, The Brood, Videodrome, The Fly, you name it, plays Ed's supervisor in the boardroom. Here's sensors and corresponding transducers. Scanners seem to check out. Yeah, but that's on the uplink. The problem is downlink. Another directing legend is Jonathan Demme, director of Caged Heat, Crazy Mama, Melvin and Howard, Silence of the Lambs, and Philadelphia, and one of Paul Thomas Anderson's favorite directors, plays the thin federal agent with glasses. You gentlemen, excuse us, please. Are you split? Split? Next is Australian Hitchcock, Richard Franklin, director of Road Games, Patrick, and Psycho 2, appears as the aerospace engineer sitting next to Herb in the cafeteria. It was incredible. I can't tell you how oh, it felt. The whole place was excited. Uh, Carl Gottlieb is the large federal agent with the mustache. Gottlieb wrote The Jerk and co-wrote Jaws, and appeared in such films as MASH, Cannonball, and Clueless. You gentlemen, excuse us, please. Are you what split? Amy Heckerling appears as Amy, the clumsy waitress, being the famed director of Fast Times at Ridgemont High, Clueless, National Lampoon's European Vacation, and Look Who's Talking. Thank you. Jim Henson, creator of The Muppets, appears as the man on the phone talking to Bernie. Have I ever lied to you? Okay, well, what can we talk about? Colin Higgins, writer of Harold and Maud and director of Foul Play, 9 to 5, and The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, plays the actor in the hostage film. I see Detective Kalachek, and I mean now! And... cut! Lawrence Kasdan, writer and director of Body Heat and The Big Chill, plays the police detective who interrogates Bud. We know you're on probation for possession of cocaine. I'm going to ask you one more time. Do you know what they were looking for? 
Jonathan Lynn, director of My Cousin Vinny and Clue and co-writer of Yes Minister, appears as the tailor who fits the Savak agents. Go! Go! Wait! Don't shoot! Legendary Hollywood New Wave director Paul Mazursky, director of Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice, Harry and Tonto, Next Stop Greenwich Village, and An Unmarried Woman, plays Bud Herman, the beach house owner and accused drug dealer. Start to wear the dumb sash. Oblige me. I'm going to put this on video. Mm. Quiet, Mo. Carl Perkins, rockabilly musician and composer of Blue Suede Shoes, plays Mr. Williams. You talk to me straight or get your ass out of here. Daniel Petrie, director of A Raising in the Sun and The Bay Boy and Resurrection, appears as a director of the hostage film. Did you like that one? It was fine. David! I can make it more psychotic. It was fine. David! Dee Dee Pfeiffer, actress from Falling Down and The Vamp, and sister of Michelle Pfeiffer, appears as the hooker. Do you want a date? What? Do you want a party? No. Waldo Salt, Academy Award winning blacklisted screenwriter of Midnight Cowboy, Day of the Locust, and Coming Home, plays the derelict who informs Ed of his car having been towed. Cops towed it away. Can't be there. The police towed it? They shouldn't have parked there. Don Siegel, director of the original Invasion of the Body Snatchers, Dirty Harry, and Escape from Alcatraz, plays the man called the girl in the hotel bathroom. Good evening. Jake Steinfeld, actor from The Money Pit, Coming to America, and The Tough Guys, plays Larry, Jack Caper's bodyguard. Roger Vadim, director of And God Created Woman, Barbarella, and Pretty Maids All in a Row, and husband of Brigitte Bardot and Jane Fonda, and once lover of Catherine Deneuve, plays Monsieur Melville, the French kidnapper. Your brother as well. Where is he? He's not here. He fled. Now, if you'll come with us. Last but not least, John Landis appears in the film himself, as the mute member of the quartet of Iranian henchmen. How about this for $39.95 and 81 Impala Wagon? If these 20 film personalities are not enough for you, along with Pfeiffer and Goldblum, the film also stars Dan Aykroyd, Bruce McGill, David Bowie, Richard Farnsworth, Vera Miles, Irene Pappas, Clue Gulliger, Catherine Harold, Stacey Pickren, Art Evans, and John Hostetter. Into the Night is an extremely underrated and little talked about picture of Landis's, but it is an absolutely amazing work of cinema, and should definitely be seen by fans of comedy as well as those of John Landis.